All right. So, as the title says, um, be showing you kind of how to make a MAM. Uh, a MAM being a make anything machine. All right. Uh, MAMs are very useful in the world of shapes for making levels go by automatically. Uh, so, okay. And so, right here, we've got kind of the components to the start of a single belt MAM. Okay. Uh, my hub is over here to the left, where you can see I've got my rocket, my bouquet, and my logo uh, all going into the hub there in some buffering to make me automatically complete levels, but that's not what I'm focused on. You can worry about that later once you've really understand the concepts behind a MAM, okay? And so what a MAM does is it takes an input, particularly from the hub. The hub ha has an input. I'll zoom in here on my hub here. has an input right here, okay? And that is going to hook up to what I'm going to show you. Uh, which will kind of start the workings of the MAM. Okay, and I'll show you how to build the MAM as well using just some basic um, designs. All right, so you would take that connection. I've moved over here to make uh, just because I have space. All right, you would take that connection and you'd move it into a unstacker. All right, we've got to work with the wires layer here. Okay. So you're going to take the unstacker, okay, and you're going to unstack the shape into its two layers. All right, when you get to a certain level, you're going to have four layers, three eventually, uh, then four. And so you'll want to keep unstacking like this, okay. Uh, and I'll show you this in my MAM and the quad MAM at the end of the video, okay, to just kind of show you how big you can make this, okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to run that signal into a shape analyzer. Okay, the analyzer is kind of what tells this uh, row of storages what to do. Okay, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. Okay, and so I just have two corners here. Okay, of the actual shape, I'll build the other two uh, to show you the rest of kind of how it all goes. Okay. Um, and so what we want to do is after you've told the unstacker, you know, kind of to unstack and then to analyze the corner, all right, we're analyzing that top right corner. So we have to rotate it between each of these shape analyzers. Otherwise, you're just going to keep analyzing the same corner. Okay. And so what that does is that feeds into this row of storages and this filter here, these filters. Uh, and what this does is this is going to essentially hold all of the stuff we're going to need for our MAM, OK? The MAM is going to pull on these storages to make each corner, to make each layer, to make each shape, respectively. So to start it off, you're just going to start with a row of balancers, OK, just because you can. All right, and you're going to feed it into uh, four or eight storages full of shapes and then the, each of the seven colors okay I'll talk about the eighth color uncolored shortly okay and so what you want to do is you want to have at least probably two storages per each regular default shape that being circle uh, rectangle star and windmill okay the thing with windmill is that you're gonna have to make it yourself so that you can pipe it in and you can kind of see the spaghetti that I have piping all of these shapes into these storages okay it doesn't have to be pretty you can make it as pretty as you want okay but see so here's my windmills going through this kind of convoluted system all right and then I'm just pulling it all the way over into uh, the MAM kind of storage uh, or input buffer if you will Right. So you've got the shapes coming in, okay, and you've got the colors coming in. Now you will have to mix cyan, magenta, and yellow outside of it, as well as white. You can just use any color mixer you want to make those, okay, and you're just putting those into uh, the storages, okay. 
And so then let's go ahead and let's just make another one. So we're just going to start by dropping in uh, tunnels. All right. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to allow each corner to work. All right. So you'll see it's starting to fill up. Okay. And then we're going to want to drop in uh, some more of these tunnels so that way we can keep making the next layers. All right. You'll notice that uh, this design is going to be very copy and pasteable, which is going to be extremely helpful uh, when making the rest of everything else. All right. And then here we just need to go ahead and throw in all of these. All right. So it's fairly simple to build kind of these input buffers. And like I've said, once you have one, you can just actually copy and paste it and just keep making it over and over again. Okay. And so if we go back to the wires layer, you'll see we have the top right corner. This is going to be the top left corner. All right, we're going to drop this one right here. This is going to be the bottom left corner. And then one last rotate for the, uh, I guess the bottom right corner it is, of the initial shape. Okay. And then we would actually run the next shape up to the next layer of MAM. Okay. And so now let's kind of look at the wires layer. All right. So what we're going to do from the shape analyzer is in green, I'm going to run this to each of the filters for shapes. Okay. And as you see right there, this essentially says that, hey, if my shape is a windmill, let it go. Let it into the rest of the MAM. And then we can do the same with the color. All right. So we're going to match it up to all seven of the colors here. And this is going to say, hey, if this matches my color, send it through, which I believe this color is white. So it'll push it through the tunnel here that I have. Okay, you can follow along with the rest of the designs I use, but you can make your own if you'd like. All right, and so we're going to set that up again here. Let's set up all the colors. All right, and then let's set up all the shapes themselves. All right. All right, and so now you're probably looking at these kind of weird transistor things. Okay, and what these do. All right, as this allows for us to convert the signal from a null signal to a zero signal. Uh, the reason that is important uh, is because in case we have a missing corner, yes, shapes will be missing corners sometimes. Uh, if we look here, the shape is not, but it can. Okay, and this is going to allow the machine to keep working even though we do not have a corner uh, in the respective location, which is going to be really helpful uh, down the road. Okay, so now we have the storages, they're filling up. Okay, and we have the filters telling everything, hey, we want this color, we need this color. Now we want to move on to painting it. Okay, when it comes to painting, uh, the best painter to use is going to be the double painter. Why? Well, because we get to paint two shapes per one piece of paint, which is really important. Uh, and it's going to save us a lot of colors. You know, if we have to make so much of a shape uh, and we're using, you know, a thousand color instead of only 500, uh, we can really run out of our resources pretty quickly uh, if you're not careful. All right. So let's see here. So to build the actual coloring process, all right, the painters, I'm going to run a tunnel down from the shapes. Okay, so this is going to cross over the color line. And we're going to run this over into a filter. All right. And then we're going to run that over just a little bit more. Now for the actual paint, we're going to pop it out of the tunnel. And it's going to run into a balancer. All right. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow for us to have the two modules here. And again, we want another filter this one having a trash can in front of it, and then the actual uh, painter itself will go with another filter and then another trash can, all right? 
here we're going to put a balancer into the painter and then we're going to put two um, splitters okay then we're going to run it on a little bit more bring the paint out of the tunnel All right, into another filter with the trash can uh, painter I, same concept here filter trash can and then two splitters here on the end we can actually turn that into a merger if you wanted to and you don't have to put the extra tunnel here you could actually probably slide this in just a little bit to save space but I'm not too worried about it and then out the top we're gonna pull out our painted shapes with the uh, out of the double painters okay so why do I have all these filters here and actually we can go ahead and drop a filter here at the end as well uh, what all these filters are going to do is they're going to make sure that we have the correct colors passing through. All right. So if we look here, we want to make sure that we have the right paint in these lines. Okay. So I'm going to go like that. And this is going to make sure that, oops, this is going to make sure that white is passing through. All right. So when the machine switches, if this is white and it needs yellow, it'll trash the white and allow the yellow to run through into the machine. It prevents us from getting too many white shapes when we need yellow. Uh, and then we can actually do the same thing with the actual uh, shapes themselves. So let me actually copy what I have here below. Go like that, up and over. And then down. And then we're going to put another one like that. And that's going to go into there and then into there. All right. Here, we're going to run this one down, over, up, and then to that one. So again, this makes sure that we have the correct shape passing through. And now you're probably looking at this kind of right here. Okay. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to make sure or double check an uncolored uh, corner. Okay. So say it once an uncolored or gray, if you will. A piece of paint it's going to send it through it's going to get here it's going to compare it to the gray constant signal all right if it says hey we match then it'll tell the filter uh, let's see here hmm. i have everything slid over one hold on Slide it all over one. My bad there. Okay, so I was wondering why it looked a little bit off. That's okay. All right. And so here, filter. All right. And so again, what this says is this says if my paint is uncolored, change this to a one because it's going to match. Change this to a zero. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell the shapes to go out and around. All right. And then all we're going to do is we're going to pipe the uncolored shapes to the top. Okay. Uh, and they're going to skip painting ultimately is the goal since we don't need to paint them. All right. And so here you'll see it's now painting white windmills, which we need for the layer. All right. So this is kind of the first step in making a MAM, which is the uncolored bypass. That's pretty important to take care of for each of the layers. <clears throat> and then here at the end, what we're going to do is we're actually going to repaint the shape. So we're going to take this down, come around to make it paint. And then bam, we got our white windmill. And then we're going to put that into there. And again, with a trash can, this will make sure that we have the correct shape coming through. Now we're going to cut it into the four equal corners. OK. And this is when we have to be just a little bit careful. OK, we have to bear in mind which corner this is. Like I said, this is the top right. This is going to be the top left. Uh, and then this one is going to be the bottom left corner. So the bottom left corner is going to be this row right here. All right, so we want to preserve this row. But I'm going to change everything else to match that row. So if I put trash cans here, look at that. They're all at the bottom left-hand corner, which is really nice. 
And then what I can do is I can just merge them all back into a single line. All right. All right. And what's nice about this, everything that we've done right here, is now I can just copy and paste it into the module, the next layer above us, just like that. So now, and then again, we can actually just take all the wires and copy and paste them as well. All right, having a nice amount of blueprints is going to be really helpful for this project of making an actual map. And just like that, we have yellow uh, corners, but I made a mistake. Again, we don't want bottom right-hand corners. We want bottom right-hand corners. All right, so we're going to want to take this middle row here. So we're going to turn this one to the right. Uh, this one's going to go to the left. And then this one's going to go 180 degrees. And sure enough, they're all the bottom right. And again, just merge them all back into one row. OK. And so now we've got a nice little input buffer. All right, it's telling us, hey, these are the shapes we need. This is the color we need. Making sure if it's uncolored or not. Uh, and then repainting it to make sure that's correct going through. Now the next step is kind of the same process of double checking that we're making the correct shape. Okay, so that's what these right here are. All right, we cut the shape and then we rotate it to be able to cut it again. And then we analyze that top left corner. And then here we're analyzing the top right corner. So this is the bottom left hand corner. So we're actually going to cut this. And if we rotate it, all right, we'll rotate it twice there. So we'll make sure that we can access both sides. I'll rotate that. So we're in the bottom and I want the bottom left. So we'll cut it again and we want the one out the top. All right. And then we're going to build the same exact uh, transistor, null to zero transistor. All right, that we had earlier. And again, that's just going to make sure that in case we have a missing corner, it still works. The, mach the machine still runs. All right. Uh, and then I'll go into the filter when I get into the stacking. All right, so let's do the same thing up here. We're going to pull out the bottom one. We're going to cut it again, except this time I'm just going to take it out the bottom because I want the bottom right. Uh, let's see here. I want to go into another one of these. All right. And so now that's that done, okay, we now can focus on actually putting these together. Okay. And so that's when this little filter exchange up here is going to be used next. All right. So we're going to go about halfway between them and a little bit further out just to make sure that we don't mess with the wires. We're going to alternate filters like that. Okay. Put that into the top one that one into that one. All right. The first ones are just simply going to make sure that this is the correct corner. If it's not the correct corner, send it into the trash. Okay. Then what we're going to do is here. All right. This is where we're going to say, hey, if we have that missing corner, we want to send it on through. Okay. So I'll show you the wiring here. We're going to take a AND gate and compare the two signals saying these are both on, so it's a one. All right, and that's going to tell the filters to act as normal, to allow the shapes just to pass through the machine. Okay, If this was turned off, if there was not a shape here, then this would say this is a zero, and this would tell everything to default out the bottom. So it would send this into here, which is going to hook up into our stacking kind of module. Again, you can use any really stacking design that you like. I'm just going to rock with the most basic. Right? And then we can just copy and paste this over and over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the eighth one, we can actually modify it. OK. So you'll see we're now making the correct shape. Looks like there's some. Issues, yeah. It's copying, pasting. Make sure these are turned down. All right. 
right, and then so here at the very end, we're actually going to put a tunnel and skip one, and we're going to drop in a filter at the end of these two rows, at the end of these balancers. And again, just like we have done in the before, these are going to make sure that the actual shape there is the one that's needed. Okay. If we don't need the shape there, send it into the trash. Okay. And that's going to prevent again some clogging issues that can happen uh, with the MAM. Then we're going to jump over to miss the tunnel, and then all we're going to do is just recombine that eighth painter, sorry, stacker, with the rest. Okay. And as you see, we've got some problems out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a filter with a trash can. All right. And that's where this is going to come into play. All right. Essentially, we take a transistor for each of the signals. All right. Uh, I think I want it like that. And then this one like this. OK. And we run them into this uh, creation. So let's go ahead and put a mix there. That's going to run into a painter, or sorry, a virtual stacker. All right, so see how we stack the top half. Now we're stacking that bottom half. And then these are going to run into a XOR gate, XOR gate. All right. And this is essentially going to say, hey, if we have a missing corner, send the signal through regardless. All right. And so again, that's going to allow for a missing corner to happen. All right. And so you'll see it's filtering out all the bad shapes. Um, I'll just put a trash can there to help filter it through. All right. As it's going through here, only good shapes are passing through the filter, which is what we want in the long run. We got to filter still through all that, some of that trash that got left in there. Okay. And so once you have that, you've essentially made the bread and butter of the actual MAM. Okay. You have each layer able to be made. We have now made technically one shape. All we have to do is just pick up the same stacking design and just place it down out here and then run this into the top. And this into the bottom. All right, and then we can rehook up the wiring as so. Here we'll double check to make sure that was the correct shape passing through. Kind of redundant having two filters there, but that's okay. And then we're gonna throw in the same AND gate. All right, and what this is gonna do is this is actually gonna keep making sure that if this entire half layer was missing, the MAM would still function correctly. And just like that, we have our full shape at the very end. So let's pull this out again, just to throw away some of the ones that we don't need. All right. And because of our construction, we're actually going to pick up this again and drop that right there. All right. And just like that, we have a shape made. Okay. And so now there's one layer of the shape made. We now just need to repeat this for the next layer. And again, this is where having blueprints is going to come in handy. We can actually pick up everything that we've made so far. Or actually, hold on, let's make sure I get, get all this right. We'll, we'll, we'll copy and paste this uh, layer by layer. I'll pick up all of this. Control C and just drop it down right there. And then because I only picked up three, oops, a little bit over to the right. All right, so there we now have one, two, three, four. This is gonna match up to the next layer of the shape, okay? We can then take the same uh, painting design, drop that in there, go through, make sure that all the corners are correct. All right, nothing got turned out of place. All right, and then here, go through and grab the stacking and the painting, or the cutting and the stacking. Oh, 
I already picked up the cutting, so I can just pick up the stacking and drop it on top. All right. And so now, until we give this thing wires, it won't start populating yet. But when it does, it'll be really nice. All right. So I'm going to go here. Let's see here. And we should just be able to pick all of this up. Control C. And then drop it right back down on top. And so now we have to be careful. We have to make sure everything lines up again. But that's actually fairly easy to do, just like that. If we've copy and pasted everything correctly, then what you'll notice is that all the shapes are going through. The colors are going through. They're being painted. They're being stacked. And then there we have it, that full layer. All right. And so there is my bottom layer of a shape. And there is my top layer of the shape. So here we can see there. All right. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So now what I can do is here's layer one, layer two. I could actually just copy and paste this entire thing once more. And, and then again, to have all 16 of these little rows for the four layers that I need. All right. Uh, and then I'll have each shape going out. And then at this step, all you got to do is just throw in the same stacking unit that you have been. You can continue with this if one is missing uh, design, but you don't have to at this point. So what we can do is we can actually just take this, control C, put it right there, run this into the top, run this into the bottom. Actually, this is where we need to be just a little bit careful because if we look here, this one is actually on top. And so we are correct in that matter. All right, so this one will put this on top, which is what we want. And let me go ahead and add in that 10th layer, or the eighth row. And just like that, you have your shape. Uh, and should you have another one, well, you can, once you've, again, put all this down. So we'll pick this up like this. Control C. 20,000, not a bad copy and paste. So I want it right there. I need to go ahead and throw in the tunnels right there. And so now what you'll notice is that this entire thing is filling up, which is what we want. And then now we can just copy and paste the entire layer. So I'm going to make sure to skip the unstacking part. Okay. And I can just go ahead and pick all this up. And then really, we just have to make sure that we're in line. And then we match it up correctly. I think just like that. Boom. All right. It's the beauty of copy and paste. And now, this will make our bottom half, this will make our top half, and then we can run this again into another set of stackers. Now, we have to be careful here, because all I'm doing is making a two-layer shape. All right? If I put this two-layer shape into here, nothing's going to come out, because it needs that other input. Okay. If we were to continue with this double filter design, at the front here, okay, it would allow for this module to tell, well, these two modules to say, hey, look, we don't have any shapes to tell this one, hey, we still have no shapes to tell this one, hey, we don't have any shapes. And it would send this one all the way through to the very end, uh, into the hub, respectively. But since we only have two layers right now, we can go ahead and just move that around. If you wanted to put this in place, just so that you had it, you can do that. Um, when you get the three layers, you'll need to make a three layer map, which you'll only need to get to this point. Right? You won't need that fourth layer. 
So you could actually just disconnect this from there and run that into the final stacker. Right? And so if I had a three layer shape, let's go here. U R Y W U W Y uh, star blue star yellow star yellow star yellow star yellow why not uh, and then windmill blue windmill red circle uncolored and then circle white all right and so the first two layers are going to start working um, but you'll notice here we now have a third layer so let me run this all the way up, right past here. And then we'll just run that uh, into here. Oops. There, to fix that issue. And what you'll notice is that now all the paint and all that is going to start flowing through. It'll start making the shape. Here, ooh, I didn't hook up the uncolored, so we have to double check for that. All right, let's just keep double checking that the uncolored is hooked up correctly. It sure is. I don't know why that one was messed up. All right. But you see the uncolored circles going through. They're going in, they're getting stacked. And hey, there's that third layer. And that's going into our machine. I didn't actually clear out anything else. All right. And so this is a prime example of where those filters would come into play. Because it would get rid of all of these shapes that we do not need. See how we're still shuffling through? If I had a filter here at the end, that told me what shape it needed, then it would clean up this process a lot. All right. So again, you just have to go back through and drop in that double filter design. And just like that, it's basically sorted itself out. All right. And there you have the shape that I just created on the fly with a few imperities, uh, imperfections in there. Okay. And so again, this is just for one single belt. You can kind of see how much goes into it. Uh, it's, it's a pretty lengthy process. Uh, just really kind of understanding what's going on here with the uncolored bypass and then the missing corner bypass and then making sure that we can handle missing layers later on. Uh, you know, and then if we zoom out and we look here, that's just a single belt. Here is the quad belt MAM that I have in my world that I've been using to complete levels. Right? So you can see again the spaghetti of resources I have being pumped into the kind of input buffer as it goes through. You can see how much how much I have in storage. So it's probably overkill from what I'll truly need, but it just makes sure that I always have enough for each layer. All right, five double painters instead of two because I'm making four belts, four cutters, okay, to create four individual belts. All right, and then all the stacking, all the stacking. See here we have full layers being stacked with other layers. Here's the bottom half. Here's the top half. I think I had it mixed up there. All right, uh, again, all the filters that tell us, hey, these are the correct shape passing through. Uh, and then that goes into the hub like so. All right, and again, the wiring situation is basically the same here, I start with the bottommost layer uh, instead of the topmost like I did in the demonstration. Again, a little funky on how I did this, but still works nonetheless. All right, so there's my shapes. There's my color going through. Here's the uncolored bypass. Here's the paint check. Right, here's the cut check, making sure it's cut correctly. And then again, here is all that wiring. Here's that missing corner filter. So that just turned zero. Uh, it's because the machine shut off. All right. And then all that runs up here into the same situation to say, hey, if it's uncolored, I'm sorry, if it has a missing corner, or if it's not, 
send it on through, again double checking, and then using that to build the shapes further. All right. So all these wires are really kind of truly connected to each other, and they keep going and keep going uh, until the very end to make sure that, hey, the shape we have at the very end is the correct shape that we want, okay? Which is pretty cool stuff. And you can see my alternating of the wires to really make sure that it all works out great. Uh, and you can kind of see the same compact stacking designs, the same filter system. Uh, it's pretty quick how it all works together. It can be very uh, crazy to watch. Uh, and it can definitely get very annoying when you're looking at all of it going through. Um, but it is definitely a worthwhile investment to make a MAM uh, to complete that achievement and to start automating uh, so that you can get to even higher levels way past uh, 27. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll leave the single belt MAM in picture.